Hi there! As incredible as it may sound, flavorful dish of eggs, cream, and spices in a pastry shell goes back to ancient Roman times. This tall salmon broccoli quiche version has everything indeed – protein, carbs, and fibers. That bad boy would have certainly been Gladiator's choice. Let's call it Maximus. What you're gonna need first is this quite amazing blind baked crust, pie dough. First, rub flour with uh, butter and salt until mixture resembles coarse meal. Add the egg and the water. Mix until just combined. Wrap up in plastic film and chill to rest. Next, dust your countertop and the pastry. Then roll out until dough is about 3 mm thick around and about 2 inches 5 cm greater in diameter than your cake ring or pan. A couple of important things here to keep crust from shrinking. Give pie crust time to rest. Don't overwork the dough and don't stretch it. Gently press the dough with your thumbs onto the mold. Start at the center and move outward without stretching it. Now use your rolling pin for the final touch-up. Chill for 30 minutes and remove excess dough from the edges. Lightly prick with a fork and let your pie crust to rest in a refrigerator overnight, uncovered though. Use two sheets of microwave safe plastic wrap. Fill up with pie weights or rice or beans and blind bake for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. This technique, by the way, is perfectly safe. For the quiche sauce, so easy. Mix together milk, heavy cream, eggs, a tiny bit of flour, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Meanwhile, I'm gonna parboil the broccolini or broccoletti. Regular broccoli would do the trick as well. And those beautiful broccoletti can top your pizzas, uh, you can make salad with, I mean, endless possibilities. Next, chop and cook red onions with a drizzle of olive oil. So you want to cook your onions until you get a light caramelization. Meanwhile, cut fresh salmon into chunks and slice out smoked salmon. The combination of both fresh and smoked salmon is a game changer. Simple things are always the best as long as they are well executed. Sounds good to me. Well, it looks like everything is ready to go, right? So let's grab our crust. Parmesan first. You can definitely use Gruyere or Conte cheese. That's totally up to you. So the reason why you want to add some cheese on the bottom of your crust, when the cheese starts to melt, it seals any remaining little holes you may have in your crust. Then add some greens, onions, Greek feta cheese, salmon, more onions, more greens, salmon, and parmigiano reggiano. And when oven is ready, add the sauce and bake for about 50 minutes. Maximus quiche done, ready to enter the arena. Well, the only way to taste it is to make it. I hope guys you have enjoyed this awesome quiche episode. To get the full recipe, Go to my website brunoalbus.com. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. Bon appétit and see you soon. <laughs> this is it.